Welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip actually comes as a result of a viewer question that we had regarding a video where we were talking about exploring the four corners. And this basically relates back to the rule of thirds. And the viewer question was asking, doesn't this really relate to the golden ratio? Yes, it does. And if you aren't familiar with the golden ratio, I definitely suggest that you Google it and check it out. It does go by many other names. You'll see it called like the golden mean, the golden section, the divine proportion, and even the mathematical part of what we're gonna talk about is called the Fibonacci sequence. So basically what I'm gonna try to do is explain to you how this mathematical formula translates into art that we see in ancient civilizations from all over the world, as well as natural forms and all kinds of things. So basically the golden mean is about thirds. So when you take a rectangle and you divide it in thirds like this, the golden mean has to do with dividing this section into this section, okay? So you're dividing this third into these two thirds. And you get a number that's called the Fibonacci sequence, which is a lot like pi, where it's a number that goes on forever and forever. But instead of pi, this one's called phi. 1.618033 blah, 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 blah. So there's the math part, okay? But what's really, really interesting about the golden ratio is that ancient civilizations have used this as a structure in art, architecture, all kinds of different applications throughout history, this two thirds to one third kind of ratio. So we see examples of it in Mayan culture with their temples, Egyptians with great pyramids, even the Greeks with the Parthenon, and not just architecture, but like fine art art throughout history, whether it's da Vinci's Vitruvian Man or Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel. So there are solid examples of how this applies into art and architecture, but you also see it in natural forms as well. So plants, flowers, and different forms of animal life have this basic mathematical structure kind of applied in how those things are put together. Now, how does this relate to what, you know, our, our viewer was asking? So basically you're talking about breaking up a visual plane into thirds. And as we talked about in our prior video, what we're basically saying is, is if we take a rectangle so let's say that we have our, our canvas or our visual plane and we cut it up into thirds like this. Okay, kind of uneven, <laughs> but you get the gist. Um, we have a couple of sweet spots, these four corners that reside and you can feel free to uh, refer back to that video. This is basically the golden mean or the golden ratio applied in all four corners, okay? So you have two thirds to one third here, you have two thirds to one third here, all those kinds of things, which establishes these four spots as visual interest points or ways that you can establish directional movement throughout the piece and stuff like that. So that is how the golden ratio or the golden mean applies in this visual format like we were talking about in the prior video. So to answer your question, yes, you are exactly right. Um, it does apply exactly this way. So if you haven't familiarized yourself with the golden mean or the golden ratio, the divine proportion, um, check it out. It's very, very interesting, uh, fascinating, and a great, um, you know, kind of learning tool to kind of fine tune um, your visual acuity and your compositional skill. So check it out and we hope that you enjoy. Mm -hmm.